Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have had explosions that have rocked Belgium uh, this morning uh, in the capital there. This comes after the arrest of Salam the other day, the, uh, the terrorist that was captured there in uh, Belgium by the Belgium uh, police and uh, secret forces there that captured him uh, in, of course, a gun battle that did ensue in that. One was killed, one of the men that they were involved in trying to arrest. And uh, since then, uh, we're seeing here images here on RT News. This is live footage right now that uh, from down in, in uh, Belgium there, there have been two uh, terrorist attacks there. They both were suicide bombers, one at the airport, the other uh, at the metro subway station there uh, in Belgium. And we were just in Belgium ourselves about uh, two or three weeks ago. And Belgium has a, a very stepped up security there in the country there. Everywhere there are uh, soldiers. There are soldiers in the malls. There are soldiers at uh, the airport. There are soldiers uh, at all the embassies. Uh, there are uh, just an increased presence of military power in the state. But as you can see, no matter how much military presence they have there, you're not going to stop suicide bombers. There has been one person already interviewed on RT News uh, that has uh, stated that, that uh, they believe that there's a possibility that Turkey and Saudi Arabia uh, could be connected to the terrorists as well. And they're stating that uh, uh, in some cases they're not doing enough to be able to stop terrorism. Now that I can certainly believe to be true because we know that Turkey uh, and Saudi Arabia both have been backing the ISIS forces against the Assad, uh, uh, President Assad of Syria. And uh, so, it, 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 and of course, we see that Turkey has been very much into a genocidal mode against the Kurdish people there in the southeast co uh, corner of their own country, as well as crossing into Iraq uh, and attacking there. So, uh, I can see exactly how this could unfold, and there could be ties with Turkey or Saudi Arabia in the background, uh, no doubt. But this has been a horrific attack that has taken place there in. Uh, in um, uh, Belgium, as you see on the screen right now, uh, uh, at the as I said, as a subway as well as at the airport. And the, at the airport, people were running frantically. Uh, you see the smoke rising up. No doubt, uh, the suicide bomber just probably brought a suitcase inside with them. Whether or not he stayed there and detonated it, or whether or not it was uh, he, he had the explosives on himself or herself. That's still unclear as of yet. Uh, they, they still don't know exactly what the total is. Right now they're saying there are 50 wounded. There are at least 10 people that have been killed as a result of the two blasts combined together. So uh, we will be updating you a little bit later today as soon as we can find out more about this. Uh, it is very serious situation there indeed. And I will also be sharing you sharing with you some of the uh, the. Uh, photographs that we have done in Belgium ourselves to give you an inside look at just how st strong the security there is in this country. Uh, it is, we were surprised ourselves to see such a huge military presence there in Belgium when we were there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and, uh, and no doubt, as I said, and as they've said on the news as well, the security will do no good in the case of suicide bombers. You just don't know that this is what they are. Uh, this is something where the Israelis, no doubt, could really help uh, Belgium and the European Union period in regards to this type of situation because, uh, at least with the Israelis, they have learned to be able th to thwart many of the suicide bombing attacks, uh, so they definitely have an inside hand on just what to do in a situation like that. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.